Yo, in this video I'll be showing you how to win in Honkai Star Rail. Now I feel like I have to make this video because Hoyu are pretty well known for making difficult turn-based games. So let's get right into it. Now first of all, we will need a mode of transport so that we can go around the map quickly and efficiently. Now what you want to do is find yourself a nice car and make sure to slam the suspension and give it a spoiler for increased speed and the rule of cool. And with that simple trick you have a machine capable of breaking the sound barrier at your disposal. We will need it as these pesky loading screens that appear while fast traveling really slow you down. So having a, an alternative is very important. Now secondly we need a lot of credits as pretty much everything in the game requires credits. Credits. To get a stable income of credits we need to ensure that our peasant population stays high as they will provide us additional credits every turn. You can also consider constructing buildings that get you more peasants if you are desperate. Next up is leveling up your characters. Thankfully this is also pretty simple. All you need to do is go to your nearby forest and beat up a bunch of bears for XP. If you use one of the optimal farming routes your characters should be level 80 in no time. So make sure to practice its attack patterns as you will be farming them often. After you level your characters you will need to gather materials to level up their traces. Now that changes from character to character but with all the previous advice you should have no problem farming materials. Now that you have all four pieces of the Triforce you can finally build your characters. And this is a very very complex process and if done incorrectly it can lead to a lot of problems you don't want to deal with. So make sure to look up builds for your specific character, as I am not putting any more effort into this stupid April Fools video than I have to to make it palatable, but I will go over the basics anyway. For the relic slot you want to pay attention to how the armor looks. The rule here is that for male trailblazers the bulkier the armor looks the better it is, while for females it is the opposite, the more revealing the armor is the better stats it will give. Stick to these rules and you should be able to beat most of the content with much issue. As for the space balls, you always want to go for the dragon balls, as they allow you to summon Shenron once per fight. You will be able to grant one of your wishes which can help you immensely, which makes him a no-brainer pickup for any character on any team. Lastly, it is your team setup. Now it does not matter, just put Dan Hung Turtle or Jing Liu on any team and you should be good. So just use the rest of the slots for characters that look nice. I mean, they made the game playable with one hand for a reason. And that's about it. See ya.